was talking to my trainer the other day. We were working out in my backyard, man, and I sat down on the wall and I said, man, I'm struggling today, this is hard. And he said, what do you mean? I said, man, this workout is hard. He said, no, nah, man, this is hard. He said, how you came from a poor kid in the projects to this house you got in this neighborhood? He said, that's hard. And I had to catch myself because working out ain't near as hard as the struggle to get where you want. Everybody in this room wants two things. Everybody wants to be successful and everybody want to be happy. I'm going to tell you something about that. That that happiness and success is available for every last one of you. But I'm going to tell you what you're going to have to do. You're going to change your mindset. The difference between successful people and non-successful people is right here. It ain't no difference. I ain't got no more than none of y'all got. God gave me the same thing he gave y'all. God loved me the same as he loved all y'all. But you have got to change your mindset. If you think that they're going to mail this money to your house, you're dead wrong about that. If you think they're going to pave the way for you and make it easy, you're dead wrong about that. If you want to be successful, you got to change your mind and you're going to have to have some faith. Listen to me, rich people think differently. So what I'm going to put in your head today is a rich people concept. The only difference between successful people and not is just how they think. Rich people think different. You don't need another program to be successful. You need to change the way you think. The problem with becoming a millionaire is that when you decide that you want to be a millionaire, you immediately start thinking, how can I become a millionaire? Well, that thought don't just pop into your head. So you get frustrated and you don't become a millionaire. And you start creating stuff like, well, I guess this wasn't the Lord's will. You can't think of how to make a million dollars. Stop. But suppose I told you how you can become a millionaire with what you have. I am here to tell you that you can come from nothing and become something. Because here's the deal. All of you have everything it takes to become rich. You just don't believe it. I have the way for you to be rich. This is it. First of all, all of you have a gift. God gave it to you when he created you. Here's the big challenge of life. You can have more than you've got because you can become more than you are. And of course, the other side of the coin reads, unless you change how you are, you'll always have what you got. Success is something you attract, not something you pursue. So instead of going after it, you work on yourself, personal development. Because true happiness is not contained in what you get. Happiness is contained in what you become. You've got to take full responsibility. If everything works out for you, fine. If you have the money, fine. If you can get the help and support of friends and family members and your spouse, great. But if you don't, all of those things are minor things. The major key to your reaching your goals is you. Nobody's going to work on your dream harder than you. You've got to take responsibility to make it happen. If it happens when you come out the gate, fine. But if you fail, so what? Come back again and again and again and again. If it's something that you love, if it's your passion, until you do it. The people that make it in this life, they look around for the circumstances that they want. And if they can't find them, they create them. It's you. You've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen. Don't see yourself as a victim. And it's hard. It's hard. Changing your life is hard. It's hard to keep your spirit up. When you change, everything will change for you. If you want better, you must be better. And when you get better, your life will get better. You must work on yourself more than you work on anything else. You must add more value to others than anyone else does. Take a step back and look at your life closely. What can you improve? Be honest with yourself. In every area of your life, what can you improve? If you're being honest, 
there will be many areas you can improve. If not, you're either not human or you're lying to yourself. Commit to work on improving those areas. Most people get caught up in the same trap of trying to change everything around them. All the people who come into their life, they feel like they have to control and change and for them to make them see their point of view and their philosophy and they have to buy into their way. And all the events that are taking place are negative and they're feeling out effect to the events. They feel like stressor reactors that when a circumstance goes wrong that they go nuts, they freak out. Why is this happening to me? It's the easiest thing to blame, to point fingers. But if you keep doing this, you're gonna constantly live in pain. You need to come to a conclusion that you need to change one person, yourself, the person who's perceiving those events, the person who's perceiving the circumstance, who's perceiving the people around them, what they're doing. See guys, the reality is subjective to you. It's subjective. And you may think that it's objective, your way of thinking, but there's a person perceiving the events, you. See my red, the way I see red, could be totally different than the way you see red. So what's reality? What's reality, guys? It's the way you see it. So it's a lot easier to change one person yourself, to build strength, to build character, to build integrity, to build mental toughness, to build emotional grit. See, if you keep elevating the game for yourself, you're gonna have more skills. The more skills you have, the better off you are in every situation. The better you are when an event happens that most people would view as negative, you view the positive in it. You're gonna offer a lot more value to society. The more you work on yourself, the more valuable you'll become to people, to offer new services to them. See, you gotta stop feeling out of effect to things, guys, and you got to change your internal, your internal, to feel happy in the moment and always see the positive no matter what. See, you're trying to change your husband. You're trying to change your wife. You're trying to change your kids. You're trying to change your coworkers. You're trying to change your friends for them to buy into your way of thinking. But you won't even let go of your own ideologies, your own ideas, but you're expecting other people to let go of theirs. You can never change people through force. You can only influence them by leading by example. And the only way you'll do that is if you change yourself first, because then they'll see it. You'll be emitting a different vibratorial frequency, a different energy about you, a different self-concept, a different self-worth that they will feel on the subconscious. They'll feel it in their gut that this person changed. Wow, that's possible. Change is possible. Maybe I can change. See, you're mad at your wife, maybe, that she's a little overweight. This is the same woman who you fell in love with. So she was either overweight when you got married or she gained the weight after, in which you weren't too influential because she gained the weight. She gained the weight while she was with you. So how influential were you during that process? And so now you just woke up one day and said, I don't like it. You don't like it. Okay, why don't you like it? Because your love can't be that strong if you're focusing on the superficial. And so the things that happen in your life that you think are negative are actually exposing weaknesses in you that you need to heal. They're calling out to your weaknesses. Everything that's happening, it's not happening to you. It's happening for you if you see it. If you see it. So we can constantly point the finger, but every time we point one there, we're pointing three back, right? You've heard it before. You gotta change the person who looks in the mirror. You gotta change yourself.